What options does the new immigration law of 2024 offer me to come to Germany for work, to come on a visa where I can actually look for work if I do not have a concrete job offer yet? People with a practical work experience can move to Germany and work in all non-recommended professions. So skilled labor outside the EU can find an employer in Germany and run the recognition process while they are already working in Germany. Hello and welcome back you all to Culture Lab Germany. My name is Tasha, I am an employment consultant here in Germany and I'm going to help you start your new life in Germany. And now I'm back with my immigration series part two. So in my last video, I covered the new citizenship law for getting a German passport after only three years here in Germany. So if you haven't seen that yet, make sure to head over to that video and check it out beforehand or after this video. And today's video is going to be about what options does the new immigration law of 2024 offer me to come to Germany for work, to come on a visa where I can actually look for work if I do not have a concrete job offer yet. And what new options and possibility this new immigration law of 2024 offers to you. So with any further ado, let's just jump right into the video. So with this new immigration law, as I already mentioned, you have several options in order to come to Germany to start your career here. So the first option you have is to stay here to get the official recognition of your foreign diploma and work experience. So you can stay in Germany for three years in order to do qualification and adjustment trainings, whatever you might need in order to get your foreign degree fully recognized or even partly here in Germany. Alongside that, you're entitled to work for 20 hours a week, so part time while you're doing your trainings or qualifications and wait for your recognition. Also note that there are reglemented and non-reglemented professions in Germany. Reglemented professions such as many medical professions as doctors, pharmacists and also many engineering jobs need a full official recognition of the German state in order to be able to work in that job description in that profession in Germany. Other jobs such as maybe marketing, languages, business, they don't need a full official recognition, but you will need to get a formal testament of what these foreign degrees are worth here in Germany. So when you're not sure whether you need recognition or a statement of comparability, head over to Anerkennung in Deutschland.de and insert your profession. Then you have the option to choose your correct field of work. Let's just pretend you're a computer scientist. After a brief overview over your skills, you have to choose the location where you would like to work in this profession in Germany. After that, you have to answer some questions where you are from and where you have obtained your qualification and degree. And voila, here you can see that your profession is not regulated and that the competent authority for you is the ZAB, the Zentralstelle für Ausländisches Bildungswesen in Bonn, which issues letters of comparability. Also, the next step and paperwork is shown. Now you can apply for the statement of comparability on the website of the ZAB. First, do a pre-check if the application is possible for you. So let's pretend, for example, that you completed your academic education in India. And it shows you that you are eligible to apply for the statement of comparability and which documents you have to hand in. And maybe your master's degree will be comparable to a German one or be categorized between bachelor and master in Germany. I can also make a separate video on the topic. If this is something that is especially interesting and important to you, just let me know in the comments. As always, head over to anerkennungindeutschland.de for the full information you might need if you choose this part. Then there is the so-called Anerkennungspartnerschaft. So skilled labor outside the EU can find an employer in Germany and run the recognition process while they are already working in Germany. So you're working as a skilled labor and the process of your foreign diploma recognition runs in parallel. 
Please note that in this case, the resident permit is linked directly to your job contract. So th that would be the second path. The third way would, if you haven't found a job in Germany yet, but you're looking for employment there, then you can request a so-called Chancenkarte. This is a one year stay in order to look for a job in Germany itself. While you are looking for a permanent full-time position, you can also already work for up to 20 hours a week, a part-time job. You're also allowed to do a two week work trial for a qualified full-time position or an apprenticeship. People with a practical work experience can move to Germany and work in all non-recommended professions. The requirements for this are that you have a professional or academic qualification that is recognized in your country where you obtained this qualification and that you have at least two years of work experience in the field of work that you envisage doing here in Germany. So with the opportunity card, candidates from non-EU countries can enter Germany to look for a suitable job without the lengthy recognition procedure. The criteria are at least two years of vocational training or university degree and sufficient knowledge of German, which is A1, very basic, German and English B2. Please note that the system is based on points and you need to reach six points in order to obtain an opportunity card. You can get points for work experience, recognition of your foreign qualification, language skills and age. For the full info, check chancenkarte.com. If you like this video, you found it informative, please don't leave without leaving me a big like. Consider subscribing and also send this video to somebody who might need it. That would really help me and my channel out as well. Also, make sure to head over to my Instagram and let's connect there. And I hope to see you very soon again, guys. As always, take care and bye.